Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy. Now, if you're a server owner um, and you have complete vehicles on your server, you'll know that one of the problems you often get is players really like to hoard vehicles. <laughs> they really do. They like to hoard way more than they could ever need. So it's really good to be able to reset the, the vehicles every now and again and um, basically delete them from the server so that they will respawn in back in um, their vanilla spawns. Um, complete obviously all the damage will be, be fixed and that sort of stuff if you use complete vehicles and that way people can uh, have a fair share of the vehicles again so in this video i'm going to show you a technique for doing that and i've got a little file that can help you do it as well so let me just exit out of here so my character doesn't get attacked so the file we're going to be playing around with is the CFG ignore list dot XML. And in the description below this video, you'll see a link to my GitHub repository where I have this CFG ignore list XML. If you click on the code, download zip, extract it, you'll get it. Or you can just click on it on the GitHub repository and just um, sort of copy and paste everything. And then copy and paste that over the top of your existing uh, CFG uh, ignore list.xml and what this file does is that it tells the server what things it shouldn't spawn in now also what I've done with this is I have remarked out some of the things that you may well have on your server if you like some of the secret items so basically if you can see uh, an entry and it's not green so it hasn't been remarked out using the uh, arrow brackets that means that when the server turns on it will say okay don't spawn in the banana the banana the bandana mask black pattern or the banana mask camo pattern they've actually got different um usage uh, different class names now don't try and spawn in the dallas mask because they've got different usage names or the Hoxton mask, because they've got um, they have the payday use, or the transit bus, or the wolf mask, or the spear, or the MI8 wreck. Don't spawn them in, even if the mission files include them. So, for example, you may well have included like the HESCO boxes in your types that XML, because they're very useful for making walls and stuff. But your CFG ignore list will go, eh -eh. and although you might spawn them in on a server restart, they'll they disappear. So that's a bit bit of a pain. So. In this kind of top section, I've done that. Those adjust, done those adjustments. Now, if you want to turn this back to vanilla, just get rid of the angle brackets around stuff um, with the little dashes next. They're the things that just turn it into remark. So that's that bit. Now, the vehicle bit is this bit here, and I've got some instructions here. So this, these are all the class names for all of the vehicles in the game. And the idea is that if we get rid of these brackets like this that one and that one like that and then we were to save and then you upload that to your server's mission file um, and then restart your server all of those vehicles would then be um, they would despawn they, well they wouldn't spawn back in so they'd all disappear and then what you do is you then put the angle brackets back in so you go like that exclamation mark dash dash and then at the end do dash dash right angle bracket right arrow bracket sorry save upload it over the top of the other one restart your server and then the event will then be allowed to spawn all these things back in their original places and that's how it works so it's dead easy to use so if you want to do like a monthly vehicle wipe you can do just that so for example let me kind of show you what you'll be doing so you'll be going to your web interface on your server i'm using a nitrado server for example here you would be going to your file browser. You would be going into the missions folder, so PS missions for PlayStation, Xbox XB missions for Xbox, just missions for PC. And this is and then Daisy Offline.Chernus Plus for a Chernus server, Enoch for a Livonia server. And there you have the CFG ignore list. There we go. So this is the point at which you could you could either go in and you could edit it manually on the, and in the browser. I don't recommend that because it's easy to make a mistake and it's difficult to see your mistakes. What I would do is I would go upload file and I, I would upload the version, upload it um, with the remarks removed and then restart the server and then I would restave, re so I would upload it like, so I would do that and I would hit save and then I would upload that version. So I'd say upload file, select that one and it would upload it. 
and restart the server, let it go through the restart process. And then when that had finished, I would then put these back in. Ooh. Dash dash. Not forgetting the dash dash at the end. Ooh, not a... oh, you see how easy it is to make a mistake. I would save that and then upload that, restart, and the vehicles would then spawn in. And you'd have um, nice fresh vehicles in their original spawn point so everybody can have a fair share of using the vehicle. So I'll put a link to this file in the description below this video. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have hit like, if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.